we finally got some good news on the injury front today, which was quite a turnaround from the last two days. What's up, guys? Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears with daily videos, breakdowns, and in-depth analysis. Let's get right into this injury report. First off, David Montgomery, Cole Komet, and Kyler Gordon all practiced in full and have been removed from the injury report heading towards Sunday. So Monty, Komet, and Gordon all should start against the Falcons barring some kind of unforeseen setback. Then after missing practice all week, three other guys also returned to get in full practices today. Those guys were Tevin Jenkins, Alquadine Muhammad, and Kendall Vildor. Great to see all three guys get in full practices. They all have a questionable designation as of now, but getting in a full practice on Friday definitely gives them a chance to play. Tevin Jenkins in particular, I think we could use his presence on our offensive line. Alquadine Muhammad was worrisome just because without him, we only have three other defensive ends on the roster, and that's including newly signed Taco Charlton, who should definitely play Sunday. Kendall Vildor's absence hasn't been missed as much. I think Jalen Jones has done a solid job, but Vildor has shown signs of playing much better football this year. It will be nice if we can get all three of these guys back in Atlanta. The two players listed as out, were Dane Crookshank and Nikhil Harry. Harry missed practice the last two days with an illness, so he will be inactive for the second straight week. This potentially could open the door for Valus Jones Jr. to be active. Definitely keep an eye on that going forward. With Khalil Herbert going to the injured reserve, there's a chance we could see Valus get some work out of the backfield. Also, with Herbert going to the injured reserve, it's big that both Komet and Monty will be good to go this weekend. Both guys are big parts of this offense, and losing either one would be a major blow. There was also one roster move to report. Bears' sixth-round draft pick, rookie Zachary Thomas, who was on the practice squad, has been stolen from our roster. The Los Angeles Rams have signed Zach Thomas to their active roster. Just another positive review from Ryan Pohl's first draft class. The one guy he drafted that didn't make the roster is now on the active roster of the Super Bowl champion Rams. How about them apples? After a tough week on the injury report, the Bears finally got some good news heading into this weekend. Three guys going into the game is questionable, but all three got in full practices on Friday. It gives me hope that the Bears will be at least close to 100% in Atlanta. This is also a homecoming game for Justin Fields, and one that even though I doubt he'll make a big deal about, this one means something for him. The Falcons had a shot to draft Justin Fields and chose instead to take tight end Kyle Pitts. Pitts is a dynamic athlete and should have a great career, but fell into land the hometown QB prospect and now having Marcus Mariota and Desmond Ritter as signal callers has to hurt fans in Atlanta. Fields is also 3-0 against QBs taken in the same draft as him. He's beaten Trey Lance, Mac Jones, and Davis Mills already. He hasn't got his shot at Trevor Lawrence yet. Stay tuned, guys. I have more videos coming. I can't wait for the Bears to get back on the field on Sunday. Justin Fields is getting better every week, and honestly, the season is flying by. We are 10 weeks in, and already past the halfway point, so I'm going to enjoy every snap the rest of the way. Remember to hit that like button for me, and until next time, bear down!